Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribers, I appreciate you. You guys have been showing me so much love. And I truly appreciate you. Crosswatcher, you're always welcome here. So I'm doing a video for Scorpio. Um, this is a general reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, Scorpio, I already prayed over the cards, laid them out, saged them for time purposes, okay? So, Scorpio, your overall energy is the Two of Swords, so you're indecisive about something here, Scorpio. Or you're not willing to make a decision about something. Your situation is the Three of Wands. You know, you're either, I mean, you're waiting on your ships to come in. Or you're turning your back on something here. What's crossing you is the King of Cups. You know, this is somebody now that's willing and wanting to give you something. But you probably waited too long. And you're probably like, you know what? Um, I don't know. Or maybe you're just going to play hard to get. I don't know. But you got your back turned to this person. Your foundation is the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. You're getting your balance. Um, you're wishing for things, you're healing, and your wishes are going to be granted here, Scorpio. Your past is the Eight of Swords, so someone was stuck in their head, you know, um, just going through some mental issues. Um, this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's crowning you is the Seven of Pentacles. So you've been planting seeds in this situation. Um, what, seven weeks? Seven days? Seven months? You know, I don't know. Seven years. Could be a long time. You've been planting and you've been waiting. You know, that's probably why you don't turn your back on this situation. What your um, future is the Queen of Pentacles. So you're just about to work on your money. You know, the Queen of Pentacles, she's a, she's very nurturing. Um, she's about her money. And um, she could be an entrepreneur. The Queen of Pentacles is usually a married person, too. So, Scorpio, I don't know if it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Could be already, you know, married. But we will see. At the bottom of the deck, we have the... Page of Cups. So somebody wants to come in and apologize to you, Scorpio. They do have a lot of emotions for you, and they want to start something with you. Could be an air sign rushing in here. Possibly to start some drama. But I think this person just wants to um, um, start something with you, like a partnership. It could have something to do with work. doesn't have to be. But they want to collaborate with you, Scorpio. They feel that you are their soulmate. They know that, you're, that you are their soulmate now. They have been enlightened about that situation, Scorpio. So let's go ahead and um, clarify these cards. Why is the Three of Wands here? Three of Wands, why are you here? Three of Wands. Let's see. Three of Wands, why are you here? Three of Wands is being clarified. by the six of wands so this is a card of success recognition getting a lot of attention or somebody wanting some attention but scorpio i believe this is you getting a lot of attention you know people are recognizing the things that you're doing and you're getting you know a lot of attention here why is the six of wands here why is the six of wands here being clarified by the star, yeah. The star, this is your second star. Didn't I tell you you're going to get this wish in 2020? Your wishes is coming true. You got two star cards here. Your wishes is coming true. Guys, I'm trying to get over a cold, so if I cough or do anything, just please just bear with me. <clears throat> I wanted to get these videos out, okay? So, yes, the star card. So, you could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius that is wanting now to come forward. Mm -hmm. 
and offer you something what you've been wanting because I mean the star I mean somebody considers you a star too and they eyes that's why they see you as a star baby yeah this person whoever it is has been enlightened they've been enlightened and they see things in a different perspective could be this king of cups here why is the king of cups here okay we just being clarified by the two of wands so yeah this person is trying to decide which road they wants to go down but they've been enlightened so and i and i'm with the king of cups here i believe he's ready he's ready to to offer something to you scorpio why is the star here the star is being clarified by the will of fortune so yes yeah, something is destined here there's good luck there's good fortune coming in for us in 2020 um scorpios um this is karma also and it's in the upright so hopefully we've been putting out some good karma <laughs> I'm hoping and praying. <laughs> I believe we have. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Wheel of Fortune is being clarified by the Knight of Swords. Yeah, someone is definitely an air sign. Doesn't have to be. Is rushing in here to communicate. They want to communicate with you about how they feel. They have a lot of emotions for you, Scorpio. Now, they've been enlightened. They want you now. Why is the Eight of Swords? But do you want them? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Because you've been waiting the Nine of Wands. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. This is being very defensive. And when I said that, when I said, do you still want this person? This nine of wands popped out. It's like, I don't know. I've been fighting for you so long. I don't even know if I want you now. It's been a long time. Six of cups. This is somebody in your past. Um, I already said, mentioned earlier, this person does want to reunite with you. And they feel that you are their soul, their, their soulmate. Um... They know who you are. <laughs> they know you're their soulmate. They, they, you're a star in their eyes, Scorpio. You are a star in their eyes. You are the queen. You know, you are a queen. I want to say the empress. That's what I. That's what's on. That's what's about to come out of my mouth. The empress. They feel that you are the top of the line, boo boo. Seven of Pentacles, why are you here? Or Bay? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Seven of Pentacles. Someone wants a brand new beginning, a brand, a brand new abundant beginning with you, baby. Yeah. The universe is offering you this, Scorpio. Ace of Pentacles, why are you here? Yes, the universe is offering a brand new abundance beginning you have planted your seeds very well scorpio we got a air a fire sign could be and you could I, I just said air but this is the night of wands someone's rushing in here very quickly and they possibly want to come in here and tell you about this new beginning here but the night of wands you know who the night of, how the night of, how, the, how the night of wands work he come in get what he want and he move on out so you got to be very careful very, very careful with this Knight of Wands. He's not a stable person. Okay? He's not a stable. Could be lying. Could be doing, to, you know, just saying what he, what, what you want to hear. So he can get what he wants. Okay? Queen of Pentacles, why are you here? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles is being clarified by the Eight of Wands. So, yeah, someone's moving very quickly here. Yeah. Someone possibly... Could be wanting you to move in with them, Scorpio. Because this is moving. This is moving homes. This could be traveling. Dealing with a fire sign doesn't have to be Leo, Sag, or Aries. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? 
Eight of Wands being clarified by the Ace of Wands. Yeah, listen. Listen, Scorpio. <laughs> this is the Ace of Wands, okay? Look at that. Look at that. Um, I don't know if it's a lizard. It don't look like a snake. It look like a lizard. This person wants to wrap their whole body around yours, okay? With this Ace of Wands. And him running in here very passionately with his wand. This Knight of Wands. Yeah, that's what he wants right there. Yep, 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 yep. Two of Swords while you're here. Why are you here, Two of Swords? Two of Swords, why are you here? Could have two people rushing in here after you, Scorpio. Because we got the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Why folks want to rush in and want to bum rush you, though? Why is the Two of Swords here? Because they know you ain't waiting around no more. You ain't waiting no... That was in 2019. We in 2020. Ain't nobody waiting for nobody. Two of Swords is being clarified by justice. So, yeah, somebody wants to want something equal and balanced with you, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Now, they, that's what they want. Mm-hmm. But guess what, Scorpio? You probably ain't going to go for it because... You, you, you're abundant alone. You're looking good. You're smelling good. And they're watching you. They know what you, they know what you're looking like and what you're smelling like. They remember you. <laughs> they remember you. They do, they do, they do. Guys, this could go vice versa, male or female. They remember who you are. They remember how you smell, too. They want it. <laughs> they want that new patch in the beginning with you again. That's what they want. That's what they want. So, Scorpio, I pulled you two romance angel cards. One was forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, once some of y'all might give this person another chance. Huh? You know what I'm saying? And then it's like getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, Y'all could have been, this This could have been just a person that y'all was off and on, really didn't have a serious connection. It was just probably a um, friends with benefit type of situation, but that's not what they want now, no. And whatever they did, they want you to forgive them because they want to get to know you now. This could lead to engagement. It could lead to engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. But Scorpio, the next card is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So maybe there it was not an equal give and take situation. But if you guys are willing, hey, it's up to you. You have your own will. But this person is willing now they're willing to give you know that equal give and take this was probably what it was you know then it could have been some children here involved could have been children involved you know um that was affecting you know some things they probably had children and didn't let you know or you know you had children that didn't let them know so, yeah, Scorpio, I also put you a Angels of Abundance Oracle. And it says, it is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. So, Scorpio, if this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye-bye.